What's up guys, in this video I'll be installing a water temperature sensor on this MX-5 Miata. You can do this on almost all vehicles, it's the same kit. All you have to do is splice into your radiator hose and run the gauge. On this kit that I have here, it's a little Fahrenheit gauge that has three wires on it. Power, ground, and the green wire goes to the sensor. And then you have this little housing here, which you want to make sure the size of it fits your radiator hose. And you just spin in this sensor. And then the wire from the sensor goes to this gauge. And it tells you the temperature of your car. And the reason why you'd want to do this other than just reading your normal water temperature sensor on your car is it is a live gauge. So as you heat up your car, it immediately shows, you know, the exact degree that your car is at. And some temperature sensors on the stock cars, they're very slow, they fluctuate, and they don't give you a real live reading of what your motor is at. So if you're doing anything performance, you want to know what temperature your motor is at at all times, and that's why this is very important. Now that we've drained the radiator, I'm going to take off the intake tube so that way we can easily access the top radiator hose. Alright guys, so as you can see here, this is where the sensor snapped off. So instead I'm just going to replace it with this black one that came with the sensor. You buy them as kits so it's just easier that way. So I'm just going to remove it and put the new one on. All right, so now I've just put some little eyelets on this wire, which I'm going to ground right next to the throttle body where there already is a ground, and then this just goes on the aluminum housing. And now I've put an eyelet on this wire, which is just a very long wire that I'm going to use to run it into the cab and connect it to the gauge. So I'm just gonna zip tie it to this vacuum line and continue from the vacuum line to the cruise control cable and take that into the hole of the speedo cable. All right, so to remove the center console, there'll be two screws here, a screw underneath, underneath this right there, one in each side. And then when you remove it, you want to just undo these clips. So now we're going to remove this bottom screw. Now you just take a shoelace and you put it inside one of the holes. And you can either use a wire or try and pull it out with a pair of pliers. And then you just give it a good yank. All right, now with those yanked out, underneath each side will be a little screw, and you'll just want to remove both of those. And now we have removed the tombstone. So now we're gonna take the wire that we've ran through the firewall and from down where the pedals are, put it behind the plastic panel and bring it to the back of the tombstone, just like this. So now it's inside the tombstone. All right, so my plan is to just mount this right underneath the radio and take this out and use this plastic to just make a template for it to be, and it'll just be, the rest of it'll just be the plastic. Okay, so I measured this for the tombstone, and I drilled a hole in it just so that way we could mount our 
gauge. And so now I'm just gonna put this all together. I'm gonna put in the tombstone and then I'm gonna put it in the car and show you guys what it's gonna look like. All right, so now we have the gauge on and it's plugged in and it automatically says 104 degrees because it is not reading a signal because it's so cold in there that it's below what it could read. So it just automatically goes to 104. Once the car gets up to a reasonable temperature, it'll start telling you live what the temperature of the car is. So now I'm just gonna plug back in the radio and bolt this all back up. All right guys, this is what it looks like. The red is not nearly the same as it is in person. I don't know why the phone never focuses on colors that well. It's a nice deep red and it matches my radio. And here you can see what it looks like with my dash in it. I just recently did a video on these green LED lights in the dash. If you're interested in how to do that, just check out my page. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see them. Thank you so much for watching this video and please comment, like, and subscribe.